A central air conditioner is a cooling system that is designed to regulate the temperature in a building by circulating refrigerant through a series of ducts and pipes. The system is made up of several components, including an outdoor unit that houses the condenser and compressor, and an indoor unit that houses the evaporator. The following is a detailed explanation of how a central air conditioner works. Refrigerant circulation. The refrigerant is first drawn from the indoor evaporator unit into the compressor, where it is compressed and heated. The hot refrigerant then moves to the outdoor condenser, where it is cooled and condensed back into a liquid form. The cooled liquid refrigerant then moves back into the indoor evaporator, where it evaporates and absorbs heat from the air in the house. Cooling process, the refrigerant, now in its gaseous form, moves through the evaporator coils, absorbing heat from the surrounding air. The refrigerant then returns to the compressor, where the cycle starts all over again. This process continues until the desired temperature is reached and maintained. Thermostat control. A thermostat controls the operation of the air conditioner, turning it on and off as needed to maintain the desired temperature in the house. The thermostat senses the temperature in the room and sends a signal to the air conditioner to turn on or off as needed to keep the room at the desired temperature. Duct work. The cooled air is then circulated back into the building through a series of ducts, while the refrigerant continues to circulate between the compressor and condenser. The ductwork is typically made of metal and is located in the walls, ceilings, or floors of the building. The air is typically filtered as it passes through the ducts, removing dust and other contaminants from the air. Types of central air conditioners. There are several different types of central air conditioners, each with its own unique features and benefits. For example, some systems use a split system design, with the evaporator and compressor located in separate units. Other systems use a packaged unit where all the components are housed in a single outdoor unit. Split system design. A split system air conditioner is comprised of two separate units, one located outside and one located inside the house. The outdoor unit houses the condenser and compressor, while the indoor unit houses the evaporator. This design is ideal for larger buildings and homes with multiple rooms, as it provides maximum cooling power and flexibility. Packaged unit design. A packaged air conditioner is a single unit that houses all the components of the air conditioning system, including the condenser, compressor, and evaporator. This design is ideal for smaller buildings or homes, as it requires less space and is more cost-effective. Energy efficiency. Central air conditioners can be rated for their energy efficiency, using a standard called the Seasonal Energy Efficiency Ratio, SEER. The SEER rating is determined by dividing the total amount of cooling produced by the air conditioner over a season by the amount of energy it consumes during that same time period. The higher the SEER rating, the more energy efficient the air conditioner is. Maintenance. Regular maintenance of your central air conditioner is essential to keep it running smoothly and to extend its lifespan. This should include regular cleaning of the filters, checking and tightening any loose connections, and having the refrigerant levels checked and adjusted as needed.